back to the channel. So today we have a really fun and easy tutorial, something that you can use with a lot of your scrap pieces of yarn. That's honestly what I'm doing. All my leftover pieces where I only have like a little bit, I'm using it for this project. So we are making a granny square tote bag. So this is one full completed one. The one I'm making is gonna be a total of four granny squares per side, right? So one, two, three, four. You can make yours smaller if you'd like and make your bag smaller and add more granny squares. Or wait, you can make your bag larger by making the granny squares smaller and adding more of them, like three or four of them for each side, or you can make them really large. It's all depending on you. This could even just be a bag itself. So to make this, you need various colors. You can use all like the same color, honestly, you use like a pattern happening, but I'm making mine like random. But the border for my whole bag is gonna be this tan color. Make sure you have one border to like match it all or not. You can just really get creative with it all. So I'm just gonna leave this here as a reference piece as we work along, right? So first we're starting off with this center piece. So for me, I'm gonna use this pink one to start this one off. Just grab your hook. And um, by the way, all the yarn that I'm using for this granny square, they're all a size four or medium weight yarn. And I'm using a 5.0 millimeter size hook. So to start this off, you wanna start with a magic circle. So you're gonna grab three fingers like this, grab the tail bit with your thumb, loop it under, and exit to the back like that. You're gonna push your crochet hook under this first one and you're gonna grab onto that back one, pull it forward, twist it, and you are going to chain one with that back string. All right, chaining one and you can let go. And then right here, tighten this off and you're gonna chain another one. So you have a chain of two, right? We're gonna yarn over Go into the circle, grab your yarn on the other side, bring it back. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull this one through those three, like so. And we're gonna do a second one. Yarn over, going into the circle, grab the yarn, bring it back. We have three. Yarn over again and pull through three. All right, so in total we have three technically. This chain two counts as a double half double crochet so you have one two three we're gonna chain two one two and then we're gonna do three double crochets again but this is gonna be like three like real double crochets so yarn over going in grabbing it coming back yarn over again and pulling through three that's one Again, for number two. And then once more, this is the third one. All right? And then we're gonna chain two, one, two. And then we're gonna complete three more double crochets, okay? That's one, two, and three, chain two, one, two, and then we're gonna do one more set of the three half double crochets, okay? So let me do that real quick. This is one, two, and then three, okay? Three, chain two, one, two. And now at this point, you're gonna pull this little, sorry, this, I see a hair, oh my gosh. You're gonna pull this little string bit, right? Pull it nice and tight to close off our circle like this, and we're gonna, con we're gonna connect it and close it off. So up here where we did our first 
half double crochet or that chain two, we're gonna push through and attach ourselves onto both lines of the V right here at the top, like so. And we're gonna do a slip stitch. So we're gonna grab the yarn on the other side, pull it through. We have two loops and we're gonna pull this one through that one, like so. Right, and then you're, you're just gonna chain one, pull it loose like that. Gonna snip this yarn off, disconnect, and pull through like that. Tightening it nice and tight, right? So this is our centerpiece. Then we're gonna move on to your second color. So my second color is gonna be this blue. So first you wanna create a slip knot, like so. Push through and attach yourself. So this is the purple. For this one, I'm gonna be using blue. So we're gonna to go to one of these corners, right? I'm gonna choose this corner. I would just suggest not going through the corner where you end off, because then it can get a little messy, but just go through any other of the three corners. You're gonna push through, you're gonna grab your yarn on the other side and do a little slip stitch. Then you're gonna chain two. One, two. Okay, so this technically is the first half double crochet and we're going to be doing this corner bit, which is two of these. I think they're called shells, two shells, right? So that's number one. Now we're going to do number two of the half double crochet. So that is number two. And then the third one into that same hole, that corner. Okay. So we have one shell. We're gonna chain two, one, two, and we're gonna complete three more half double crochets into this same opening to give that cornered effect, okay? So three more, so yarn over, going into that same opening. The first half double crochet for this shell number two, and the third one. Okay, so for this corner, we're gonna chain one right here and go on to the, oh, for this corner, right, we're gonna chain one every time we're at a flat end of a square, it's a chain one. Every time you're at a corner of the square, we're gonna chain two like we did right here, okay? So, Grab a little bit of yarn, extra yarn. So right here, I'm gonna chain one. Then I'm gonna go into this corner and do three half double crochets. So oh, yarning over first, yarn over. So that is one, two, and three. Then you're gonna chain two since we're at a corner. So one, two, and we're gonna do three more half double crochets into this corner. So one, two, and three. Okay, we're gonna chain one and we're gonna do another three half double crochet. Oops. Two. and three, All right? And we're gonna chain two, so one, two, to corner it off and put three more half double crochets right here. So one, two, and three. Now we're gonna 
do our last corner. So we're gonna chain one and do three half double crochets. You already know. Then chain two and do three more, okay? And number three, all right? This is what she's looking like. We're gonna chain one and we're gonna connect ourselves through that first half double crochet up here, like so, pushing through, grabbing the yarn on the other side, bringing it back and doing a slip stitch and chain one. And then we're gonna pull this loose Grab our scissors, cut it off, disconnect. We're gonna pull this through like so. All right, all these um, end pieces, don't worry about it. I'll show you how to weave it in at the end. That's how I prefer to do it. Or you can weave it in as you go, but I already started like this. <laughs> okay, so my next color, my third row is gonna be purple for me. Here it was the blue. Sorry, right? So again, we're just gonna start off with a slip knot. Let me keep this in frame just in case. I'm gonna start off with a slip knot to connect ourselves to the granny square. And we're gonna start at a corner, okay? A corner of the square, we're gonna push through that chain two space. And we're gonna connect ourselves using a slip stitch and we're gonna chain two. So one, two. So again, this chain two counts as the first half double crochet for the shell we're doing. So right here. So now we're gonna do two half double crochets. So yarning over, first half double crochet, and the second one. We're gonna chain two, one, two, since we're at a corner. Yarn over, go in, and do three more half double crochets. So one, two, and three. And then as we get bigger, um, the square gets bigger, you're gonna see this pattern to emerge that you have to follow. So over here in each corner, you wanna do two shells and two, a chain of two. When we get to the flat area of the square, all you wanna do is chain one in between each shell. And in here, we're just gonna place three half double crochets and then move on to the next opening, okay? So right here at the top, I'm gonna to place three half double crochets. This is number one. Two and three, make sure you're not doing this way too tight or else it's gonna like morph out of shape a bit. So that's three, I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna go into this corner. We're gonna do just like we did over here. So first shell, so one, two, three, chain two, one, two, and then three more half double crochets. So one, two, and three. Okay, so moving on to this next flat area of the square, we're just gonna chain one. And right here, we're gonna do three half double crochets or one shell. That's one, two, and three. We're gonna chain one. And at this corner, we're gonna place two shells. So first one is three. One, two, and three. Then we're gonna chain two, one, two, and place three more. 
So one, two, three, chain one. And we're going to place three right here since it's a flat area. It's not a corner, I mean, it's a flat part of the square. <laughs> so one, got to keep pulling on my yarn as I go. That's why I keep doing that. Oh no, it's falling. So one, two, and three. We're going to chain one. Moving on to this corner. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, and three more. One, two, and three. Chain one, going into this last one, placing three half double crochets. One, I try to like hide that little um, knotted area where we tied off. Two, and three. Okay, we're gonna chain one. Look for that first half double crochet. Pushing through, we're going to do a slip stitch like so. Chain one, pull through, cut off, and like really pull this through, okay? Tighten it like so. Oops, sorry. And this is what she's looking like so far. So if you want to keep it mini, you can honestly just keep it like that, right? But I'm going to add two more. Um, rows. So my next color for row one, two, three, four will be yellow. I'm gonna make a little slip knot like so. Push my hook through, and we're gonna start off at a corner, right? Any corner you want. So I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna push through, grab my yarn on the other side, and do a slip stitch. Like so, and chain two. One, two. This is our first of the half double crochets for this shell, remember? And now I'm gonna do two more half double crochets, chain two, and then do three half double crochets, okay? So let me do that real quick. Right, chaining two, one, two, and three half double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, so now we're reaching the flat part of the square. So right now we're just gonna chain one and place three half double crochets right here. Chain one again and place three more right here. Oops. All right, that's the first shell. Chain one, place three right here. Then we're gonna chain one, we're at a corner again, so we're placing three half double crochets. So that's one, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, and place three more. So one, two, and three. 
chaining one, one, and placing three right here, or one shell. Chain one. Right here, place three half double crochets again. One, two, three. And yeah, I feel like at this point you should get like the hang of it, you know, placing two shells on each corner, placing a chain two in between, a chain one in between each when it's on the flat sides. And yeah, so I'll meet you back once I'm nearing this end. I'll show you how to tie off and do the last row. All right, so here I am at my last shell. I'm quickly just gonna do my three half double crochets. I'm gonna chain one and connect myself to the first half double crochet right there, the opening at the top, and do a slip stitch. Like so, chain one, pull through, grab your scissors, cut it off, and really pull through, right? So at this point, you should be getting the idea, right? And now, lastly, you're just gonna put your border color if you want your whole bag to have the same border. If not, you know, that's a move too. So for this one again, we're gonna Start off with a slip knot. Grab your hook, push through, tighten it. And we're gonna start at a corner. So I'm gonna start at this top corner, just any random corner, you know, just not the area where we tied off. So I'm gonna push through and slip stitch to connect and chain two, one, two. And then I'm gonna place <clears throat> Sorry, I'm gonna do two half double crochets. One and two. Since that is one, two, three, technically for a shell, that chain two is holding a place as a half double crochet. Chain two. I don't know how many times I'm gonna explain that, but more details and all of that in the pattern. Then place three more. Half double crochet since we're at a corner area. Okay, I'm gonna chain one. I'm gonna go into this opening, placing three half double crochets or a shell. All right, I'm gonna chain one again, move on to the next one, placing one shell. Again, chaining one, going on to this next shell. Okay, then chaining one, and then we're at a corner, so we're gonna place two shells and do a chain of two in between them. So one, two, three, chain two, one, two, and place three more half double crochets. One, pulling for extra yarn. Number two, and three, okay? And we're gonna chain one Move on to the next shell. Okay, and continue as normal. All the way until you reach the side, I'll meet you here towards the end. And once again, if you need any more details or just wanna look at the written pattern, it is below in my description. So I'll be right back once I'm near this beginning where we're gonna close it off, all right? 
And then after that, I'll show you how to weave in all these bits because they're a little annoying. All right, so here I am gonna do my last shell really quickly. Can you hear the crickets? It's one in the morning. <laughs> All right, chaining one, connecting ourselves like that. Slip stitching, chain one again, pull through, and disconnect. All right, so here we have pretty much half of the front of a bag done, right? I'm gonna show you how to quickly weave in these ends. You can do this either with your crochet hook or with a darting needle if you have one as well. Both work well. So I'm gonna show you with the hook first. So wow, you can see a hair. Sorry, it's my dog's hair. Okay, so we pretty much want to get these two strings or pieces of yarn as close as we can together just to tie them. So I'm going to push through and weave it towards the other string like that so they're right next to each other. And then I'm going to do a double knot. So it's one. Not too, too tight. You don't want to mess up the look. Did I do that too tight? I don't think so. One and two. Tighten her nice and well. And then you can cut this off. Like so. You won't even see it from the front. So again, let's say with this purple one, the next color. Let me grab a darting needle real quick. I got this all in a little pack that I got on Amazon with all the hook sizes that I think I would ever really need. And these needles and stitch markers, but yes, yes. If you want the little pack I got for myself, it'll be linked in the description. It's off Amazon. It was really cheap, honestly, but okay. Grabbing a darting needle. So you see how this one the purple is kind of on this side and it's kind of far away. So all you're going to do is weave this into your needle. Right, like that. And we're going to shimmy our way under this shell. Like so. And then we're gonna shimmy our way near that other. One, two, like so. Okay. Now that they're both right next to each other, I'm just gonna place a double knot. And then you can cut off these extra bits. All right, so we're gonna continue doing that for all of them. So for this next one, again, I'm gonna just have to use my darting needle to get under this shell. Shimmy my way under. And then again, nearing or as close as you can to the other thread. And placing a double knot, all right? So I'm gonna do all my ends. I'm gonna weave all my ends through. I'm gonna finish a few more of these granny squares and I'm gonna show you how to connect the front panel. So for me, I'm doing four squares for each side. Again, you can do more or less as you want. The measurements for my final bag and all that will be in the description, but I'll be right back to show you how to connect everything and then how to make the straps and how to connect that too. All right, so I'm back with my four pieces. I'm gonna pull you out so you can see a little bit better what she's looking like. So right now, 
their wrong sides up where you know you tied it and you can have the little nub still showing you want it all wrong sides up so now we're gonna weave these together so i'm gonna use a darting needle you can also use your crochet hook by doing a slip stitch i'll, I'll show you that too okay so i'm first gonna connect these two pieces separately and then connect it right here so I guess first I'll slip out oh, my speech right now. Dear Lord. Okay. Right now I'll show you how to do a slip stitch first because I feel like most times not everyone has a darting needle, right? I didn't have one for a hot minute and now I do. Okay, so I'm gonna move that out the way. I'm gonna connect these two pieces. I'm gonna find a corner area. So for me, this chain two, I'm gonna go right through them like that. I'm gonna grab the same color of the border and pull it through like so and place a double knot right here. So one, two. I'm gonna go through that same opening, grab the arm, pull it back and chain one. And now we're gonna do a slip stitch. So at the top of the piece, you're gonna see these Bs running along the cross, running along the cross, running along the top. Wow, okay. So you're gonna wanna push through and be connected to both of them like so. Then push through the other side and also be connected to both, right? You grab the yarn on the other side, pull it through all of those. You have two and pull this one through that one, like so. Pushing through the next one. Let's give you a better visual. Here is the V for the first panel, V for the second panel. Grab the yarn, pull it back and slip stitch. Okay, like so. So I'm gonna slip stitch, ooh. When you get to the chain two, actually, I mean the chain that's in between, you're still gonna push through the top. Whoa, whoa. You're still gonna push through the two lines of the V, but at the bottom, it's just gonna be one line for each, okay? gonna slip stitch. So I'm gonna go all the way to the end and I'll show you how I end it off and then I'll show you quickly how I do um, the other panel and then you can choose which one you like the most, okay? Okay, so I just did the last slip stitch right here at this corner. And all you wanna do to finish it off is just chain one, pull it loose, cut off your yarn and pull it through like so. Okay, so that is the first one. When it's flipped back or right sides out, it will be like this. All right, so now for this one, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Oh, my yarn fell, no. Where's my needle? Oh, it's right here. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I do it with the darting needle. So you're just gonna slip or like attach yourself to your needle. Like so, giving yourself a little extra just in case it undoes itself. And we're gonna pretty much do the same thing. So we're gonna go to this V area. We're gonna push through both. Actually, I'm gonna push up like this at the top and connect it down to this bottom one, as you can see, pull it through. And then go on this side, push through both lines of the V. And here, pushing through both lines of the V. Right? And pulling through. Again, pushing through both lines. And through both of them right there. So, 
I'm gonna just weave this back and forth, back and forth all the way till I reach the end, and then I'm just gonna tie it off with a knot. All right, and after I do that, I'm gonna connect these two down the middle, and I will be back for me tomorrow morning to show you how to do the straps and connect it all together, you know. But for you, it'll be a few seconds. For me right now, it is 3.13 in the morning. And honestly, I'm not that tired yet, which is kind of crazy, but I should go to sleep. Tomorrow I have a busy day, but all right. I'll be back. All right, guys, so here I'm at a new location. Peep. Okay, so I don't really have my tripod. I apologize, but I'm still gonna finish this tutorial. So I attached all four pieces for the front and the back panel like so. So this is the back side. This is the front side. We're gonna put, we're, before we like attach them together, this is an optional step. I'm gonna go around each of these panels like here and add two rows of half double crochets just to give it a thicker border, all right? So I'm starting at a bottom corner. I'm gonna pull this through and attach it with a double knot. So I'm attached at a bottom corner. I'm gonna push through that opening. You're currently on a plant right now. <laughs> push through, pull it back, and just chain one, okay? Then we're gonna start doing the half double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over, go into that exact same first opening, grab the yarn, pull it back, and we have three loops on our hook. Gonna yarn over again and pull through all three. Then we're gonna go into the next opening. At the top, or all across the board, you're gonna see the, the, the V's going through. You wanna make sure you're going through both of them, both of the lines like that. So yarning over, first entrance, and doing the half double crochet. So this is what it's looking like so far. So I'm gonna go all the way around the full square and I'll meet you back around here to show you how we're gonna add the second row. So I did the one border I'm just gonna slip stitch to connect it. All right, so next we're gonna do the strap. This is what she looks like. I'm still using a makeshift tripod, so excuse me. So we're first gonna start off with a slip knot, like so, or however you start your slip knots, right? Push through, tighten it, and we're gonna do a chain of five. So yarn over, it's one, two, three, four, and five, like so. We're gonna skip that last chain and go into this one, the second one, and we're gonna do a single crochet. So we're gonna push through, like so. Grab the yarn and bring it back. We have two loops. I'm gonna yarn over and pull this one through here. And then going into the next one, we're gonna do another single crochet. This is the third one. So going in, grabbing the yarn, bring it back, yarn over and pull through two. And then we have one more. So in total, you should have four single crochets. All right, then we're gonna flip our work. We're not gonna chain one or anything. We're just gonna continue. I'm gonna push through this first opening, like so. Grab the yarn, bring it back. Yarn over and do your single crochet. Next one, making sure you're going through both stitches or lines of the V. And so, so yeah, we're gonna do four single crochets, no chains in between, making sure we get the last one. This can be honestly kind of tricky and little fiddly, 
because you want both lines like that. It's a little hard to grab and hold, but then once you got it, you got it, you know? So like that, again, flipping our work, going to the next one and continuing, right? So you can make your straps as long and as thick as you'd like. Mine, this is about like one inch in thickness. And then the length, it's about like, I think about like 20, 22 inches, but all the specifications and measurements and exact row count will be in the description in the written pattern. So I'm gonna finish this off and then I'm gonna show you how to attach it to our front panels or our panels for the bag, right? All right. All right, so this is my panel, right sides facing out. I'm on a bed right now. I know, I keep I keep changing locations. I don't really have a filming spot right now. Nice. So, I have my straps and we're gonna align it, right? I want it to lay like this, where it's like as straight as possible, right? Like so. So I'm placing it there. I want this one inch to align in the center of the starting circle. Or it's not a circle, I don't know. So I'm going to place it like that so that when it flips back, here's an example, when it flips back, it's kind of like how we did here. It's not as visible. And then weave in your ends too. I'm going to push through this top opening and then one of the ones over here. You want both lines of the V for both of them. I'm gonna grab your yarn. I am I'm really apologizing for this tutorial, but everything will be nice and clear in the written pattern. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm chilling with my grandma today. That's why I don't have like, I'm not in my apartment, you know? So like this, then we're gonna go into the next opening. Slip stitch. Next one, slip stitch. I know you can't see, I know, I'm sorry. And last one, so it should be like four slip stitches. Once you've done it all, you're just gonna chain one, pull it through. Oh my gosh. And then mine undid itself, but you just wanna like pull it through so it tightens off, right? Do that for both sides, weave in your ends, and then after that, all you're gonna do is once, let's say this, this side is attached, right? We're gonna take the other panel, put them good sides together, and we're gonna do a quick slip stitch right along here, here, and back up here, and then your bag is done. You can flip it right sides out, and it's good to go. So again, I'm sorry about like this little setup. I was moving locations a lot and whatnot, but I hope you still really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, let me know. If you end up making this bag, tag me on Instagram or on TikTok at Lala Perez. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I also wanted to say, if you want to add a lining that's nicely, very easily possible, just sew something that's the same size as your bag, put it in there and like sew in the ends and stuff. I can't do that right now since I'm with my grandma. Well, I could actually, but I don't think I have cloth right now. Or, But I might end up doing that later. But yeah, you can totally do that. Just wanted to let you know. So it's a more sturdy bag. I will most likely do that later.